Okay. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Rohit Sony Andhra Leadership Vision that changed lives. So today I have a really special guest with me right now on our show, who is Piyush Kukreja, who is the host of one of the India's most popular podcast channels, the Piyush Kukreja Show. And what he does is that he has trainers, coaches in launching their own online training program successfully and generate revenue from it. Okay. So I would like to welcome you all. Piyush Kukreja. Hi, hi Piyush. How's everything going? Yeah. Hi, Rohit. How are you? Uh, it's going great. What about you? And thank you for the introduction, sweet introduction. And thank you for inviting me to your show. Okay. I appreciate that. And, uh, uh, you know, welcome you to the show. And uh, yeah, we can begin it right away. Without yeah, thank any you. further delays, right? Yeah, let's begin. Okay. So how's everything going in there? Where you're living currently? Yeah, it's going great. Uh, but it's, I've been, I've been locked down since the day I entered digital marketing. So this lockdown is very common for me. <laughs> it's been three years. I'm locked down. Like yeah. I can say I have a laptop lifestyle. We can, uh, we work from home and I like working from home and, you know, uh, yeah. being alone in the room and working. I guess uh, it's common in digital marketers. We always like, uh, yeah, it's common for entrepreneurs. I'll say. Yeah. It's yes, like entrepreneurs. Digital entrepreneurs, we can say. Yeah. Digital entrepreneurs, you're right. Yeah. You know, everything yeah. has been moved to the digital segment right now. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, Piyush, initially what we, we would like to know initially from you is that uh, you can introduce yourself, what you do, how you do things uh, and about you and your background okay. and everything so that our audience get to know what it, this podcast will be all about and who will be actually talking. So, yeah, you okay. can begin. Yeah, thanks for that. So introduction you are given, it's it's pretty good, but I will tell uh, it's been more than three years I'm practicing digital marketing. I then started my digital marketing career by learning from YouTube, Google, then started with a mentor, then started with internships, doing multiple internships, multiple jobs, going to events, meeting more people. Then in 2018, uh, you know, in 20, uh, like I say, in late 2017, so I started putting on content on social media, Instagram, Facebook groups, not at big scale, but Sometimes uh, one post a week or two posts a week. So just I was just exploring things. I was uh, pretty new. This thing was pretty new for me. I was 20 at that point of time. And I was following Gary Vee. And still now, till now I'm following Gary Vee. It's in four years I'm following him. So it's to say, uh, document your journey, produce content, meet new people, uh, do internships, work for influencers. And I was trying to follow his strategies. Like not all strategies. I tried to follow uh, at least 30 to 40 percent of strategies. Like work for influencers for free. If you're not getting clients to build portfolio, you can uh, work for you know lower price, uh, message everybody and anybody who you want to work with. So this are some strategy I used to use. Then I did a job, then I changed a the job. Then again, I started my business. Then again, I uh, a year back, I worked with Avi, like a PR you might be knowing. Yeah. And also okay. in 20, in this journey in 2018, I started my podcast and the day I started my podcast, I can say uh, there was a little U-turn in my, I can say uh, J curve in my personal band uh, journey, I can say. Because I started in 2018, it was pretty, you know, uh, right now podcast is a little popular. I can say now not that much popular, but still at least digital marketing, uh, marketers it know what is exactly the is Facebook of 2006. It is the YouTube of 2006. I'll say. Yeah, I can say that like 2010 or something. But at that point of time in 2018, it was like uh, literally YouTube of 2006. Nobody knows in India, especially. So only few people know. You know, when I launched my podcast, I used to go to events and meetups in Pune. I was to stay in Pune for you know four to five months for my job. Uh, then You're from I, Pune only. Or I'm from Nashik. Ma- I'm from Nashik, Maharashtra. Uh, I was in Pune Maharashtra. For working for yeah, working for a company as a digital marketing executive. So that company got shut down. So I came back to Nasik then started my own business. That's a different story. So I started, uh, when I was in Pune, I used to go to meetups events because Pune is a little uh, bigger setting compared to my uh, city Nashik. And it is, it has more IT culture and uh, there are more market years compared to this, uh, my city Nashik. Nashik is more about uh, nature and all that, but not good for uh, this digital business. But nowadays it is, you know, we are in a location independent business. So it doesn't matter you're in Nashik or New York. The, the thing is same, <laughs> whether you're sitting in Nashik or maybe Bangkok or maybe uh, New York, the thing is same if you're a digital marketer. So I was in Pune, I used to go to meetups, events, and uh, like every other week, every second week, third week, in m- every month, I used to go to events, meetups, small meetups. Which was like your best experience when you went on, you know, doing meetups and events in Pune, Maharashtra, and everywhere where you have gone. Yeah, it what, was what, like what, I was what not. What was your best experience? Yeah, I was going as an attendee, not as a speaker in 2018. So okay. best experience was like, uh, there was a uh, girl called Snail Chandak. She's an amazing digital marketer. So she, she used to, she's still running uh, like community of digital marketers called Indian Digital Club. 
so she is a very good friend of mine so i was okay. she came to nasik uh, for a meet up in 2018 in june then i jab mai shift to and when i shifted to this pune then she gave me the opportunity to join the events come to meet up she invited me so kind of not i was not an organizer but kind of a, you know helping and for them like uh, used to go one hour two hours prior to the meet up to discuss about what guest is going to talk about how to introduce him or some things like that i used to love these things go to event network with people networking i usually uh, in college days i used to hate these things but nowadays i love it. after that there was a different change because that in college days i was introvert so i used to go to meet ups and the best part was when i started my podcast and after that after one week there was a meet up uh, same with idc meet up indian digital club meet up so there were two speakers okay. and before that you know uh, speakers time was around 11 am and i reached at over 10 am and also other people were starting a uh, gathering in 20 some people came at 12, 10:15 some 10:30 so people were you know i was getting little more attention uh, do you know why because of my podcast i started my podcast it was super new and i launched on facebook and instagram everywhere so it was little buzzing at that point of time everybody is asking me on in messages in dms for exactly spot us in All, 2018 you started 2018 yeah, 20, 2018 it was pretty new like uh, um, very few were doing like, like which month in 2018 august like uh, next month i will be completing okay. two years yeah. i started it in april 2019 oh that's and, awesome and uh, awesome. i did something that was really great for my personal brand uh, when this lockdown happened for the 21 days Yes. What I did was that I released twenty-one days podcast. Oh, so that that's boomed the oh, graph and the audience. Story. <laughs> I think estimated audience went flyer because everyone was at their home and they were listening yes, to yes, podcast. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, exactly. I knew the opportunity. I knew that this can be a great opportunity for me to grow my personal brand as well because I always knew that podcast is the future because exactly. I have been already listening to so much talks in twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. So I knew that this is the future of. You must have heard this guy Jordan Belfort, the Wall Street. Yeah, I, I know. Yes, yes, amazing. I've been guy. listening to his podcast. He has around seventy-five episodes. So I just love the way he, you know, delivers his monologue initially it's and then exciting. does the interview. Yes, so yes. Um, yeah. I have always been engaged in those things, and that's why I knew that uh, you know doing the podcast at this segment yes. at this time is really that much important. Awesome. Yeah, and awesome. yeah, we we can relate our journey. Like I uh, like during the lockdown when Modi ji, our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister of India, announced that okay. from tomorrow there's a lockdown from 12 a.m. or 6 a.m. something. That okay. then then only I announced my 21 episodes. So I we I also did the same. Okay. Like uh, I did 21 episodes in a row. Uh, but it okay. uh, you know i promised 21 but i did 60 episodes in a row because lockdown got 60. extended yeah 60 60 episodes every single day one episode 60. with new guests so it was like 60 episodes with almost 57 unique guests uh, three episodes were also part two of the episodes so like, i can say every day new guest other guest <laughs> so okay. i did in a row and that uh, i gained a lot of you can say If you talk about numbers, if some people believe in numbers, so I get a lot of Instagram more than thousand, two thousand Instagram followers. I was at four thousand five hundred something. Now right now I'm at six thousand five hundred something. Uh, so during this two months only I've grown, and also my podcast listeners were around four thousand, and right now I've crossed ten thousand. It took me one and a okay. half year or more than that. On Spotify say, or on every platform. Overall, overall I'm telling you. Because and, I guess say, Apple Podcast has more than forty three percent of the share in current market, right? And yeah, then yeah, uh, exactly. twenty of Spotify. So yes. I always look up to uh, you know initial numbers. It is for me around twelve hundred to thirteen hundred right now. So awesome. you have four thousand already. No, no, no. I, right now it's at ten thousand. When I start look, uh, yes. it took me around. I can say I started in August and it took me around one and a half month, not more than that. One month, one, sorry, one year and uh, eight months to reach four thousand listeners. But it only took me two and a half months or around that to double or triple that number. Right now I'm at ten thousand. Uh, or what to cross eleven thousand? Okay. So because so of the consistency, days, you yeah. did more than sixty episodes. No, no, not twenty-one days. Twenty-one days, twenty-one okay. episodes. Then I extended the like Modi ji extended the lockdown. I extended the series. So it was like okay, uh, okay. it lasted till around I can say twentieth of May or twenty nineteenth of May something like that. Okay, okay. I don't okay. So after twenty-one days, what I did was that I you know started doing my business more and uh, yeah. starting working on my business more. And uh, I initially you know. Two three days, two three days. I you know kept doing my podcast. I didn't yeah, stop that, but yeah, in two three days I was doing it because I knew it is important. So uh, yeah. I bought this some time yeah. for that as well because it is really important. And uh, right now, currently, my episodes are around sixty eight or sixty seven. Sixty eight. That is amazing. amazing. That's great. Like you have a great speed. Like, And how much started. do you have? I have around ninety three episodes. Around ninety okay. three. 
and i have like uh, right now i'm working with a different plan like 100 straight episodes something like that and in couple okay. of days i'm going to invite some two of biggest names of this industry one dig- one in digital marketing second in uh, i can say in spirituality be- no no and uh, it's not indian uh, it's different i will i'm not revealing now i will okay, okay, reveal right. after once we are recorded because you know i haven't recorded okay. episode with that person if something okay, goes okay. wrong then sure, okay. it would be like uh, people will say you are i'll also movie. discuss i'll also discuss my future guest as well i have yeah, yeah. already talked exactly. to him, so maybe so, so we can discuss this, uh, this after the podcast yes, so yes, yeah after. let's move forward yeah, 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 yeah you can continue yeah so i was talking about this uh, the 60 episode you can you can understand the power of consistency it took me only 60 days to double or triple the number of this uh, uh, listeners plus Instagram followers. Also, I did a workshop. Then I uh, 50 plus people joined the workshop. Also, did an event recently with Throw and Shobhi Bank Kadari and Hardik Rashkari together. And we uh, there were 60 plus attendees. So everything is going good, like because of podcast. So podcast is like uh, just like you said, podcast is you know future. I say uh, there's a I always say on my podcast as well on workshops as well. Starting a podcast right now in 2020 and 2021 is like starting your own YouTube channel in 2010 and 11 and starting your own Instagram in 2015 and 16. So imagine you started your Instagram right uh, one or two years back, if I'm not wrong. Started in the sense starting uh-huh. putting out content. Uh, yeah, I put. Um, I started putting out content uh, from 2019 February. 2019. And uh, still, it was like uh, once in a week, like that type of content. Okay. Started doing personal branding since the last four five months, much more okay. than that, I did that's... before. Because I can make so much of the videos, but I yeah. was not making because of my business. So that is. The yeah, same, same with me. Uh, but uh, nowadays, I'm nowadays not. It's been more than one year. I'm considering my personal brand as a business as well. If I'm doing a podcast, I'm doing a business. So it's like not business. Uh, like I can say, it's a part of my business. My podcast is part of my business because this is helping me in creating also retain the industry, reaching more people, networking with people. A lot of my guests are also my clients, uh, not all of them, like I can say uh, three or four uh, or many of my uh, guests, I collab with them for events or for some books or maybe. And also many of guests got clients or got leads or got students for their coaching or mentorship program through my podcast. Uh, I, I have examples as well. So a lot of people, you know, I guess the, uh, when I upload the episode, many, I have a good list of businessmen watching my WhatsApp status and Instagram stories. Uh, most of the times they DM me, mm-hmm. please connect with me, with the, this guest, I, I have some work for him. So I can see it's not only me getting benefit of my podcast, my guests are also getting benefit of my from exactly. my part it's the win-win for both exactly. it's a contribution of and both. Uh, the win-win situation came for me as well when all my business owners tune in you know i have more than 80 business owners working with me in my business awesome. and all those people are also getting the returns of what i'm doing so if i upload a podcast they also get the motivation and the self-development that's needed so yes. it's a win-win for me as well i'm uploading the podcast i'm not doing doing the, doing the business at that moment but yeah yes. i'm building the business at that moment. yeah so this I'm is the part ownership of, of that yeah, this is a part of business. Not we are not selling anything on podcast. This is a part of business. And you, why I yeah, said yeah. this line, the starting a podcast now is like YouTube, YouTube in 2010 and Instagram in 2015. Have you ever thought like I have always, you know, uh, I wish I started in 2015 Instagram thing. So you might have got uh, a little much, uh, you know, growth. I'm not telling organized gro- organic growth is dead. I'm not dead. I'm not telling. But today is there is you know there are a lot of creators out there. Compared to 2015, 2015, there were only three to four digital marketing creators or maybe uh, one or two. But right now, there are thousands of creators. You also thousands know Thousands. No, I'll say lakhs. You know, yeah. man, many <laughs> okay. people are doing that. Yeah. And specifically in digital marketing, they're growing day by day. You can see more 100 accounts. I get a lot of requests every single day. Let uh, be part of my show, be part of my every day. And also other influencers are getting in my circle. Okay, so, true. and also I checked profiles. That's, a, that's the fruit of the consistency that you had. For those yes, course, exactly. Six, exactly. Six days, and uh, that is yeah, exactly. So because everyone who's consistency. listening to this podcast, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no. Everyone who's listening to uh, this podcast, do remember this. Any business you are doing, any podcast you are doing, consistency yeah. is the mother of everything. Exactly. Just that's keep, exactly. Keep, be consistent with your content and you'll get results that Piyush has been getting Currently, exactly. since he has been doing 60 days podcast. Right? And same, yeah, with you same with you, Rohit. Like you did 21 episodes and you did uh, two, three episodes every week. And you can see a lot yeah. of business people connecting with you and getting inspiration from you. Yeah, and it's you like also- 53 episodes in the last, uh, from, I'll say, from uh, April 2019 to uh, February 2020, I had mm-hmm. around 18 to 19 episodes. Mm-hmm. And right now I have 68 episodes. So it's around 50 episodes in the last uh, 
since the lockdown since awesome. 23rd of that, march that's a, that's a great of march. that's a great speed and you you might have uh, seen the results as well the difference is yeah. also and uh, on anchor i did cross an estimated audience of 43 and uh, you know that awesome. number looks uh, you know um, bit less but you know yeah. on anchor it yes, is so yes. much uh, yeah exactly same with me same with me it is showing like around 11000 to me and an estimated shows okay. around 60 in 60 estimated shows 60 but it's not like yeah. we are 60 or 43 audiences yeah. it can it has That's a different algorithm. part yeah it has a different algorithm yeah. to count it or maybe they count exactly number of episodes divided by that particular uh, listeners so even for digital pradeek the estimated audience right now is only 20 on anchor because he's not doing it on anchor he's doing yeah. it on uh, on bus sprout so exactly. yeah this is for him yeah it, it's yeah, so estimated right uh, nothing real right yes. okay so i guess the podcast thing we have been discussing and we have promoted the podcast for you know telling you how podcast is helping your business yes, yes. so i guess with this discussion everyone who's listening to our podcast has got this value on why podcasting for your own business is so much important yeah okay so let's move forward and let's you uh, talk about personal branding as a business that's Because, a, uh, yeah uh-huh. yeah that's like uh, now that's booming so you to interrupt what we're telling yeah yeah so the thing is that personal branding is something that you know and i know that is so much important for the businesses we know exactly. have, we have discussed about podcast but yes. uh, why keeping so much uh, of the consistent why gary we insist uh, you know to put so much of the consistent content on your page what's your yeah. thing what's your take on that overall take on that all those uh, yeah uh, obviously gary is my mentor he says like you know a lot of people are taking gary v's advice in a wrong way as well i can say not in an ethical way wrong way in the sense he is telling uh, produce content but along with it he is also telling don't create document if you have heard him uh, very clearly okay. he says document a lot of people are what people are doing nowadays especially more youngsters 19 20 21 years of uh, people mm-hmm. who are coming new to this industry this personal branding thing mm-hmm. they are considering personal brand as only content they are only creating content they are not documenting they are going to google or maybe youtube researching the topics which they don't know or maybe they are watching some video and they are telling some things which they haven't experienced or they haven't did in their life and they haven't you know uh, practically done things or they don't have particular uh, expertise in that niche not expertise i can say knowledge in that niche or they haven't did it doesn't mean that if you want to share about digital marketing you need to be a digital marketing ninja or expert or 10 year experience to start a content no whatever you are sharing on your instagram stories or maybe content or maybe on youtube or where it, where it be podcast or facebook whatever it is share whatever you are doing and whatever you are experiencing let's suppose i'm a let's suppose i'm a fresher yeah real life experiences exactly let's suppose i started just now and i did, i did an internship so i will share my internship experience and all that i will not uh, you know pretend expert and i will share something uh, which i haven't experienced i'm just maybe i have watched exactly. the video and i'm talking about so i see a lot of people are doing that it's especially young so it's not their mistake i can say uh, they don't know what they are doing like it's not their fault yeah they don't Shoot, know they just uh, you know like uh, know this line that uh, yeah. i have to do content and they have yes, been yes. on doing and they don't even know they haven't even executed that that is why executing something Ex- and then doing it exactly and right now if you we talk about you rohit and me uh, you also doing running a business you have team also you have uh, you say it business men are connected yeah. with you you are a lot of clients same with me i work with clients real clients i also do podcast it like it doesn't mean i only do podcast podcast is just 10 to 20 percent of my daily routine not even 10, 10. it's five i can say i have a lot of clients i work for them i have um, i set up podcast for my clients as well. i help trainers as well so there are, there are a lot of things you know there's a responsibility of clients getting them uh, results seven figure results every month that's not a joke so i need to focus on them as well so you know uh, if anybody starting personal brand or into uh, is into personal brand i believe uh, this is what i learned from many mentors also uh, seen people who are you know uh, especially in international people uh, also abhi told me this a personal brand should always have missions missions i see uh, where people are doing personal brands 90% of them are not having missions or objectives of the personal brand they just know create content create content create content and they are not going to get anything okay. i can say. not anything i can say but they don't have any objective they just know how to create content they just need likes they are you know uh, they are wo log bhooke likes ke and comments ke which is not good mm-hmm. i can say you uh, there's my friend called uh, his name is ashish unhone mere sath podcast bhi kiya hai is a very good friend we are friends since almost 3 years uh, jab humne start kiya tha to facebook pe group mein hum dost hue and he's an amazing guy 
he also does the same coaches or trainers help karta hai so what he does he has only right now around 5000 followers wo bhi abhi hue unke after the promotion also facebook pe he has only 1000 or 1500 friends not much but i tell you he has uh, 5000 followers a lot of people in the industry i would take the name have more than that 5 lakhs or maybe million followers but this guy is making like in in seven figures in dollars i can say not seven figures sorry seven figures or jyada bol liya seven figures in rupees figures. rupees seven figures in rupees not dollars sorry seven Six figures, figures in, in dollars seven figures in rupees yeah rupees rupees yeah in rupees you can see, understand and when i asked him ki uh, bro why you not putting content he just said my personal man is goal is to build my business to build his business and he has a different object you can listen to that episode it doesn't mean that uh, the thing is how many number of people are following you doesn't matter who is following you that matters if 100 exactly. potential clients are following you uh, or i can say potential yeah, prospects that is much better than 1000 followers who are just uh, you know scrolling and, and liking not 1000 yes. you can say they are better than 100000 followers i'm telling you yeah exactly this exactly. guy ashish because uh, they are going to generate so much revenue that those exactly. 100000 won't even generate out exactly and this guy ashish uh, he used to have only you know around 3 uh, or 4 months back or year back he is doing business since 3 years only you know 400 500 followers he used to use instagram for business only and all them or i can say 80 90% of them were his prospects his potential clients from us singapore whatever countries running ads on so you can see and he's making in uh, seven figures in rupees so you can okay, see and other hand there are a lot of guys who have for more than 10000 20000 followers and i don't know they are making money or not but your focus should be i am not telling your focus should be to make money your focus should be to get get a uh, potential clients as your audience or maybe Uh, the audience who are really interested in your subject, what you are sharing, okay. Exactly. And I see a lot and of. I, people... I also receive DMs as well for this. You know, um, not only about podcasts, but when we create content, uh-huh. um, targeting the certain audience. I guess yes, you'll yes. agree with this because when we create content, um, um, in consonance with the people that we want to uh, have on our brand, yes. we want to visit our brand. When exactly. we do content for them, they just approach us. and then they ask for the help i guess uh, yeah. that is something yeah. that you have been also doing i guess because Ex- you are training coaches clients as well yes exactly and you won't believe a lot of my clients i got from facebook and instagram only and i don't okay. need to uh, you know reach out to anybody i don't have a team because of my podcast and my brand and also the my profile optimization i am getting a lot of uh, like uh, people are reaching out to me through linkedin facebook and more of instagram and it doesn't mean that i'm getting clients from instagram they are just discovering okay. my profile and just they you know they are initiating the conversation uske baad it's up to me how i take it uh, it's it's not like you will get direct clients you will get uh, conversations people will ask you for help after that if the businessman comes into picture or sales guy comes exactly. into picture <laughs> then person man you know person man is to start the conversation then you can show them what's written things like that and there i'm talking about the missions just i think people should follow the seven missions which i have learned from my mentors as well number one would be uh 3c we call it clients uh collaborations coaching and uh again consulting consulting okay this okay. this are some consulting. missions plus books getting featured on books events doing events going as a speaker or like and podcast is also one of the mission uh, i learned from my mentors so these are some missions you should you know follow also ma- most important mission is collaboration i see a lot of people only doing content content in this mission i have you know maine kidhar bola ki you need to do content yes you need to do content but you want to document the content uh, like document your journey content creation content creation is a part of your journey but these are some missions these are some missions like okay. i'm telling you coaching consulting uh, doing webinars kind of thing if you want to do getting clients i see there are a lot of personal brands out there who are you know very young they are only creating content they have no business they have no objective uh, yeah that's great that they're yeah. learning only they're creating l- content is something that uh, is like just uh, wasting your time i'll say only creating content yeah, without only. having an actual business because yeah. where you'll get the experience of business when you don't even do that or you can either exactly. become a personality development coach exactly and i see there are a lot of people who are not even 20 and they are uh, i can say Uh, this uh, personality development coaches and life coaches and things like that how can a 20 as gary right v now, says i'm a, right, right now i am at 20 but uh, i have been building businesses for like one yeah, and a half yeah it's it's so different for you because you yeah you are doing since 2 3 years and also you have a lot of clients as you said that's a different exactly. thing you are doing real business yeah, it's not but about the thing is that which i see with many people in these days uh, piyush is that 
people do all the things but yeah. they don't know how to execute all those things they can tell it by reading a book they can tell it by you know like uh, reading surfing article on, yeah, surfing on internet yeah, exactly surfing on internet so yeah that is something that we need to consider initially while doing it exactly. that, uh, we should execute on this real life experience bahut zyada important hai i guess yeah, bahut exactly. zyada important aapko real life experience se share karna hai aur gary bhi says exactly. the same document the journey he never exactly. says create content he says create content but document your content like document your journey like what you are doing show them that things like that you need to do that and also you should also exactly. focus on business gary we never says that you don't need to focus on business and he says document your content or document your sorry document your journey and what people are doing they are just exactly. creating just talking and eating and like that. but it's up to them uh, and you know uh, sometimes how i create content for podcast i experience something in my business today and just do a 5 10 minute podcast that's it yeah, that There's that's it aapko ek aise sath missions hote hain uh, like you should uh, just like maybe thoda dheere dheere sab follow kar raha hu i have clients i do coaching as well consulting bhi deta hu main also i'm i'm going to feature on this book if i show you this the book growth hacking book if you might be aware about the rohan show based okay. book ye part 1 hai iske part 2 mein i'm getting featured so your personal brand is all about you know 360 only not creating content wo thoda content is a part of you obviously content to sabko create karna hai uske bina to aap zyada uh, like zyada brand nahi bana paoge but document your content and dekho baki log kya karte what's the different between why people like vivek bindra and people like gaur gopal das ji and uh, sandeep pashri this guys have different personal brand aap dekh sakte ho ki unhone kya follow kiya hoga kya alag hi unhone you know pr and all that wo bahut sari cheeze mind rakhti personal brand mein आजकल जो यंगस्टर्स वो पीआर की बात ही नहीं करते लाइक वाई पीआर इज इम्पोर्टेंट वो बहुत सारी चीजें मैं इसमें अभी ज्यादा डीप में जाऊंगा बिकॉज आई एम ऑल्सो नॉट इन टू पीआर बट इफ यू वांट यू कैन लिसन टू द पीआर एपिसोड ऑफ द पीयूष शो जो मैंने बैंक के साथ किया था बैंक के डालिया प्लस दीपक के साथ किया था यू कैन लिसन टू दैट या एंड एंड आई विल आस्क यू व्हाट आर व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दिस पर्सन ब्रांडिंग मैंने तो मेरा टेक बताया आई आई से पर्सन ब्रांडिंग बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है अगर आपकी आपकी कंपनी को कोई फेस चाहिए Mm-hmm. Exactly. I guess your face is all about uh, your face predicts your company. Not the company yes. predicts your face. If your exactly. face is someone who is known, then your company will automatically grow. I'll say that is it for person. I I don't need to say exactly. much about personal branding, but and, I guess this is the fruit on the tree. Yeah, and let's let's take an example. Just like you were sharing that your favorite actress Shah Rukh Khan is an inspiring person for you. Obviously, for many millions of people in India, all over the world. And why you you know, if there is a movie that is Shah Rukh Khan, then why you watch this movie? why because of the movie uh, name or director you watch because of shahrukh khan I, i'm sure yeah i i, I watch because of shahrukh khan there's no yeah. alternative i don't and, want to see who's the director or anything but i exactly. just want to see his acting because his acting matters more than the movie script and all yeah, yeah those yeah. things matter but for me as someone who's uh, watching him for a long long time i'll see him as an actor more uh, uh, than all the other exactly and obviously it, it doesn't mean like uh, if a normal actor is uh, launching a movie it's, it's not good it's like mm-hmm. i'm talking about the promotion if uh, a uh, brand name exa- uh, let's suppose a newbie uh, whose uh, movie is super hit and super amazing yeah. story is launching a movie and other mm-hmm. side shahrukh khan is coming with a movie and obviously shahrukh khan ki zyada movie zyada chalegi because uh, 100 crore 200 crore mein bhi usne apni brand value banayi usne wo mehnat kari hai newbie ko wo mehnat karne ki zarurat hai aaj exactly so wo bhi brand ki it's it's about brand because shahrukh khan aur talk about the, the real statistics for the past abhi to 2 3 saal se virat kohli is on number 1 yes. but before that for the past 13 to 14 years srk's brand value has always been highest yeah the, best in still, the whole of india uh, still right now is four, third or fourth right yes. now is third or fourth but uh, for the he has ruled it for like 12 13 years and in 2017 ke baad hi i guess kohli aaya on first yeah, and still he is ruling brand value uh, like, so much important in terms of acting still he is ruling uh, like kohli is a cricketer so obviously they are always going to be on top 5 sometimes kohli so, sometimes um, shahrukh khan he's not doing down. that much of movies right now so yeah. that is also the reason yeah it's all about personal man we are just sharing the example of personal man so that our audience should you know jyada samjhe unko because shahrukh khan is a little familiar face everybody knows us to jyada relate kar payenge so yeah exactly. and also if and, you talk uh, about mm-hmm. yeah sorry you tell me something yeah yeah i was saying ki uh, uska itna bada brand hai isliye uski tikte bikti hain Exactly. So I guess you are relating this with the Instagram as well. If you have a very big brand, your product will be bigger. Exactly. If you have a value in your product, then it will be more sale. But it will be bigger in your name. Exactly. And it doesn't mean that we have to go and sell ourselves. Your brand, you just need to focus on your brand, and automatic things will be bigger. Shahrukh Khan never says that buy my ticket or something. Automatically, he just says this is my movie, and that's it. The thing is done. Then. 
सौ करोड़ जैसे बन जाते हैं सेम विद ब्रांड वी आर जस्ट रिलेटिंग विद डिफरेंट एग्जांपल्स एंड सेम विद इफ यू टॉक अबाउट बिगेस्ट ब्रांड ऑन प्लैनेट अर्थ और इन इंडिया स्पेशली विच इज वॉट आई बिलीव सबका चॉइस अलग है इज अगर सब कंटेंट की बात करो तो इज नरेंद्र मोदी जी आई थिंक बिगेस्ट पर्सनल ब्रांड एंड बिकॉज मैं मेरा एक्सपीरियंस बात करूंगा बहुत मैंने सर्वे भी किया है कि दोस्तों को पूछता हूँ लाइक ऑफ कलीग्स एज वेल आई नो बीजेपी बिकॉज ऑफ नरेंद्र मोदी जी एंड टू बी ऑनस्ट आई एम नॉट इन टू डू डेट पॉलिटिकल थिंग्स आई मीन मुझे पता भी नहीं पॉलिटिक्स कैसे चलती है सी एम एन पी एम ऑफ अदर अदर कंट्रीज और समथिंग और क्या चीजें होती है बस मुझे इतना ही पता है ज्यादा नरेंद्र मोदी जी उसके बाद ही मुझे थोड़े बहुत नाम पता चले कि ऐसा ऐसा होता है एंड आई एम टॉक ऐसा नहीं बोल रहा हूँ पॉलिटिकली इट्स इट्स लाइक यू नो पर्सनल ब्रांड Like he's on YouTube. He he produced content on Just YouTube. Just because he of his face, BJP is going this much uh, higher. Exactly, exactly. For the past seven years, they are ruling the world. They, exactly. The India, India, exactly. The biggest so democracy because... in the world. Exactly. So it's all about because of personal man. He has his own podcast. काफी लोगों को पता नहीं मन की बात है. हाँ मन की बात. Podcast है. तो he knows his team and he knows जहाँ पे you know जिसके बाद जनता उसकी सुनता है like आपने सुना होगा. So he has audience like yeah. her every platform his team is available like the way he, they do ORM and the way they put content and the uh, the way they you know document things and things but it's amazing like uh, it's an inspiration his team is inspiration and also another big uh, personal band in terms of business uh, I believe is Vivek Bindra ji. He's an uh, like super amazing He's personal band. No, no He's doubt. He's about at motivational speaking. Yeah, exactly. He's, He's a great, greatest of all time. Like he's a business coach, and his channel is like world's number one entrepreneurial channel. Ch- channel. Yeah. Uh, like YouTube channel. More than twelve million followers. Yeah, and even uh, more. His channel is like in terms of numbers. I'm talking about numbers. It's greater than Gary V, Grant Cardone, including I can say. And I'm talking comparing people. I'm just talking about the number of uh, subscribers. Nothing else. So also he break uh, you know बहुत लोगों के webinars होते हैं you know webinars वगैरह होते हैं uh, master classes होते हैं तो उसमें there was a record ten thousand का record था कि एक webinar में दस हजार लोग एक साथ आ रहे so ये record था and guess what हमारे खुद के Indian ने Vivek Bindra ji ने record तोड़ा and four lakh more than two डेढ़ लाख डेढ़ ढाई लाख थे जब मैंने पूरा वो sales वाला देखा था exactly चार लाख लोगों लोग एक साथ थे वहाँ पे तो you can imagine actually मैं initially बस पांच सात मिनट आया था क्योंकि उस time पर मेरा एक live interview भी था schedule तो मैंने वो cancel करा क्योंकि मेरे को पता था मेरा live interview कोई नहीं देखेगा because everyone every entrepreneur will be tuning in for Vivek Bindra exactly मैंने वो delay कर दिया था just you can imagine दस हजार का record था इन्हों और अभी अभी रिसेंटली और एक वेबिनार किया उनका आठ लाख था जितना मुझे नंबर याद है शायद शायद ऊपर नीचे होगा बिकॉज़ हैज अ अ मैसिव मैसिव फॉलोइंग एंड ब्रांड वैल्यू दैट इज़ इट सो यू कैन इमेजिन टेन थाउजेंड का रिकॉर्ड यहाँ पे सीधा विवेक बिंद्रा संदीप मश्री और सिर्फ यू टॉक अबर एंटरटेनमेंट नीच भी है भुवन बाम आशानी Uh, some selected names Abu who are doing Bhai. amazing. Carry me, Nati. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I don't personally. I don't follow him. Like, uh, it's a different opinion. I, I follow Bhuvan more. Yeah, the most I'll follow only Bhuvan. Yeah, same here, Bhuvan and Ashish because uh, he has started are... it, so I know him uh, much yeah, better. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Ashish as well. He's uh, also a great exactly. brand. Who second? Amit Badana. Actually, yeah. Amit Badana. If I tell you, he was from our college, I guess. Oh, awesome! Our uh, college was Shamlal College. Itra, I heard. I don't. I mean, that's not fact. He's wrong. But uh-huh. I mean, so much knowledge. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
like business skills like you can say okay mai dekhta hu ki whenever some digital marketers are running campaigns most of the people are not analyzing the you know uh, business they are just running the ads they are running you know campaigns they are not jab bhi main kisi client ke sath kaam karta hu i do 360 like uh, agar main ad chalau to how many how much footfall they will get or business kaise badega right now i'm helping trainers so i help them not only in ads but overall funnel like if uh, let's suppose 1000 people are coming to funnel so kisko kitna hum uh, how should we convert them email marketing this it's 360 so it's not only about uh, facebook ads or something it's 360 also the positioning matters and skill if you talk about overall skills then uh, uh, you should have one operational if you are starting to three type ke skills bol sakta hu one is operational skills jab matlab website design karna funnels banana facebook ads run karna graphic design karna video these are operational skills matlab wahan pe aapko khud ko kuch laptop pe ya kisi pc pe kaam karna and second skills are again say managerial skills jahan pe you will manage things you know business you are a businessman okay. so you know managerial skills and third would be your uh decision making uh like yeah, say, most important as a decision yeah. making ha so decision making and business development sales skills overall business. so these are the three different categories of skills which is what i believe so if it's a business to so aapke business mein teen type ke log hone chahiye uh, obviously jab aap start kar rahe ho as a freelancer aap one man show hona padega aapko teen aur skills rakhni padegi jab agar if exactly. you are starting if you are starting yeah you and i guess uh, in any business we must possess three skills i have always yeah. talked about those yeah. three skills yes, these yes. are the high income skills the yes. first is copy copywriting yes words that you speak yeah and the words that you write copy then mm-hmm. the second is closing how to yeah. close clients mm-hmm. then is power speaking because if you yes. don't know effectively how to communicate you won't be able to make exactly. bigger business so i guess these are the three most destructive skills if you have as an entrepreneur you're yes. going to always live yes. an empowered life but if you don't have these you're always going to live a disempowered life do you agree with this or not exactly i totally agree and copywriting is like one of my favorite skill i can say i'm also practicing that and yes i love co- writing copy but when it comes to only my brand my podcast piyush kukreja show and my uh, instagram wagera but when it comes to writing copy for client uh, i suck in that i don't like doing that because mujhe feel nahi aata it's not club copywriting is not cup of my tea so mere paas wo team mein alag banda hai they do that but when it comes to my personal copies whatever you see captions on instagram uh, podcast post and everything is written by mm-hmm. me and i love writing that and i'm practicing a little bit i can say and yeah okay. so these are some skills uh, and uh, these or, skills are also important for inviting new new guest on a yeah <laughs> obviously copy is exactly. important that is the yeah. best skill yeah communication you tell uh, communication skills jo hai if you want to invite any guest i have only started inviting in from the past two, two or three months i haven't did that before because uh, i was inviting people for my business before that yeah. so i had that experience and that experience has been working for me now so i don't need to learn from any way to invite yeah, yeah. anyone but exactly. yeah because that experience is helping me because i've learned it from my own business so yeah that works for everyone for everyone who's listening yes. it your experience matters more because what your experience will be will reflect in your future businesses as well exactly and it's all about experience only we talk you talk you know you walk, you should always talk what you walk there's a saying called exactly <laughs> yeah, and if you can't it. walk it then don't talk it <laughs> yes exactly that is exactly. That, yeah. that is really so important. yeah that's great like it was a fruitful so if you, is there anything left to ask you can yeah i guess i guess the whole value has been given to the i guess we have delivered a really you know much more value than yeah, we exactly. thought even that yeah deliver. and you, you, are, you have, we have that thing in our heard that we have delivered more value than Ex- we can exactly and this episode was little unique for me and really i can say really amazing experience like a discussion episodes and uh, uh, both of us sharing our points you sharing your points and experiences and different parts of life then with real life examples as well and it was a very amazing episode for me as well so thank you rohit for inviting me to your show and guys if you're listening to this episode do subscribe to his uh, podcast and do follow him on instagram and you can check the links in the description thank you so much exactly uh, i appreciate the gesture piyush and thanks for coming in on our show one of the most yeah. popular podcasters of our country uh, the show name is uh, the host of the piyush kukreja show and uh, we are really happy to you know thanks. have you on our podcast today okay uh, we will see you all again in the rohit yeah. soni andhra leadership podcast vision that change lives very very soon till that time do something amazing thanks everyone